Similarities and Differences Between Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing There are similarities between money laundering and terrorist financing. However, the methods and objectives differ from each other. Here are some similarities and differences discussed between the two. Money laundering varies slightly in each country where it is recognized in the criminal law and varies according to relevant organizations and standard-setting bodies. Money laundering is the processing of criminal proceeds to disguise their illegal origin. Money laundering enables criminals to enjoy profits and funds without jeopardizing their source. When a criminal activity generates substantial profits, the individual or group involved must find a way to control the funds without attracting attention to the underlying activity or the persons involved. Criminals do this by disguising the sources, changing the form, or moving the funds to a place where they are less likely to attract attention. Money laundering describes the activity of concealing or disguising the identity of illegal obtained proceeds. This activity aims to make the illegally obtained proceeds appear to have originated from legitimate sources. On the other hand, the financing of terrorism involves the provision of funds to individuals and groups to commit terrorist acts. Terrorism financing resembles money laundering because it often requires criminals to conceal the transfer of funds within the legitimate financial system. Terrorists may use high-profile people of the country to support them in their terrorist activities and for private gain. Terrorists may use public officials who may abuse the authority of their public office for personal gain, which interferes with democracy and the rule of law. Corruption also may be committed by private individuals who abuse their positions for personal gain, which can hinder fair market operations and distort competition. In money laundering, when criminals derive funds from illegal activities, that money must be disguised before it can be introduced into the legitimate financial system. Money laundering is the illegal process of disguising the profits of financial crime, typically by using the services of banks and businesses. Criminals transfer their illegal funds from one place to another through a country's financial system, such as banking channels. The transfer of illegal money may support other criminals in various jurisdictions or countries. In terrorist financing, it is the provision or collection of funds with the intention that they should be used to carry out acts that support terrorists or terrorist organizations or to commit acts of terrorism. Terrorist financing includes the financing or aiding, abetting, and facilitating of terrorist acts and terrorists and terrorist organizations. It is a collection of funds by any means, directly or indirectly, intending to be used in full or in part to carry out terrorist activities. The motivation behind terrorist financing is generally ideological as opposed to profit-seeking, which is generally the motivation for most crimes associated with ML. Terrorism may be financed through illegal activity or using legitimately derived and owned funds. The purpose of terrorist financing is not to hide illegal money, but to suppress a population or state through violence and coercion and raise funds to finance criminal acts. Criminal activity is usually undertaken to generate revenue or provide a benefit to those undertaking the activity. Organized groups undertake significant criminal activity, and laundering is the process of disguising the illegal origins and ownership of the criminal property to enable the criminals to use and enjoy it without jeopardizing themselves or attracting unwelcome attention, such as from law enforcement. The main purpose of money laundering is to take advantage of criminal activities. Money laundering is the result of almost all profitable crimes. To give you a few examples of different definitions of money laundering, the German Criminal Code keeps it rather simple and describes money laundering as concealing unlawfully acquired assets. In money laundering, funds or assets were obtained through criminal or illegal activities, disguising the illegal origin of these funds or assets. For the first element, it is therefore necessary to conduct a crime first and make money from it. These crimes that build the basis for money laundering are called predicate offenses. Predicate offenses vary in each country and are usually codified in a country's criminal code. Exemplary predicate offenses may include narco-trafficking, tax evasion, murder, grievous bodily harm, corruption, fraud, smuggling, 
human trafficking, illegal wildlife trafficking, and forgery. If one conducts such a predicate offense, makes money from it, and tries to hide the illegal origin of the funds, this makes for money laundering. Terrorist financing can be described simply as financing terrorist acts, terrorists and terrorist organizations. But terrorist financing is more than just providing the money to them. Terrorist financing can also facilitate terrorist acts, using other assets or stores of value, such as oil and natural resources, property, legal documents, financial instruments, and others. Criminals may use the financial system or channels to perform terrorist financing activities. Therefore, organizations are required to ensure that such activities are prohibited through a robust system of controls. Understanding the sources and methods of money laundering and terrorist financing in a jurisdiction is essential for competent authorities to develop and implement an effective AML-CTF program. A national MLTF risk assessment should be considered the foundation for setting AML-CTF policy priorities and resource allocation.